What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your RMC Ice Pro Diamond Vocal Microphone. As you can see, it comes with the microphone itself, which is covered in faux diamonds that really catches the eye whether you're on stage or at the studio, an XLR cable and an XLR to quarter inch cable, a mic clip, and an aluminum case so you can bring your microphone from gig to gig. So the first setup we're going to show you guys is how you can set the microphone up to a channel on your mixer like our very own Rockmix 10FX. So the first thing we can do is set up the included mic clip, which is great to use if you want to be hand hands-free while you're singing or if you want to just rest your microphone in between songs. So we're just going to line up the threads of the inside of the mic clip to the threads here on our mic stand and just screw the mic clip onto the stand to lock it in place. After that we can pinch on the sides of the clip and just insert our microphone like so. We also include an adapter piece so we can fit the mic clip onto different kinds of stands. So now let's connect our microphone to a channel on our mixer. Now if your mixer has combo jack inputs like the one we have here, you can use either the included XLR cable or the XLR to quarter inch cable to connect your microphone. For today we're going to be using the XLR cable. So we're going to start by taking the female end of the XLR cable and plugging that into the back of our microphone. Then we're going to take the male end and plug it into any available channel on our mixer. For today we'll use channel 1. So now if you haven't already, we'll turn on our mixer. And because we're using active speakers in this setup, we'll turn those on as well. You'll also want to be sure the volume is up on your speakers. So next we'll raise the gain knob to set the microphone sensitivity. And we'll raise the level knob to set the volume of our microphone. Then to make sure everything's coming out of our speakers, we'll raise the main mix knob here on our mixer. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. Now with this type of setup, you can use the features of your mixer like the built-in EQs and effects to get some really cool sounds with your microphone. For example, I can use the EQ to change the overall sound of our microphone. See, I'm raising the low end for a lot more bass, bringing up the high end for more treble. And I can use the built-in effects unit to use effects like delay. delay, 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 delay. Also when using dynamic microphones in general, you want to keep them nice and close to your mouth like so, so you're hearing all of the characteristics of your voice when using the mic. Because if you keep it further away, you won't be able to hear so well, so that's why you want to keep it nice and close. Also the setup is going to be the exact same if you're using an active mixer with passive speakers. Now we can even use the RMC Ice with an audio interface like our very own Rocky Mini to record vocals onto our DAW. Again because the interface has a combo jack input, we can use either the XLR cable or the XLR to quarter inch cable. So just like in the last setup, we'll take the female end and plug that into the microphone. Then we'll take the other end and plug that into the XLR input on our interface, which is on channel 1. Now if you need help setting up your interface to your computer, check out our video on how to record vocals in your DAW. So next we'll want to go into our DAW and create a new track. We're going to want to use input 1 since we're using channel 1 on our interface. And to stay organized, we can rename our track to vocals. Next we'll want to raise the level knob for channel 1 on our interface. And if you want to plug in a pair of headphones like I did to hear yourself while you're recording, you'll want to raise the phones knob here. So now if I turn on my microphone and talk into it, check 1, 2, check 1, 2, you should be seeing the level coming through our track here. Now if you're singing at your loudest and your level is getting to the orange or yellow regions on your track, this will mean you're getting close to the clipping stage. So to fix that, all you'll want to do is lower the level knob here on your channel. So now you should be hearing my voice recording through the RMC ice right into my DAW. Now there are many different advantages and benefits to recording with a dynamic microphone. For example, dynamic microphones aren't as sensitive as condenser microphones. So they can handle loud noises a lot better, which is great if you want to lay down loud or aggressive vocals. Dynamic microphones are also great to use if you're recording in an environment you can't control. For example, if there's a lot of loud noises or anything you can't control on your own, using a dynamic microphone would be great to use in this instance. Dynamic mics are also great to use if your room isn't acoustically treated. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RMC Ice Pro Diamond Vocal Microphone. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.